Hey guys, what's going on? Realm Dude here. Today I am going to be showing you how to install Minecraft Forge for 1.7.10. Actually, you can do this with any version. I'm just going to be using 1.7.10 since it is indeed one of the most used uh, Minecraft Forge platforms. Okay, so if you want to get the latest, this will have some bugs in it. Um, just go to Windows Installer and if you're doing this on a Mac, go to Installer. If you're going to code it, then go to SRC or source. Same goes for recommended, except for recommended won't really have any bugs. Windows installer, again for Windows. Installer for Mac OS and SRC for coding and source. Alright, so let's install recommended. Alright. Now, do not click any of this except for the skip button when it appears. Don't click any of it. Alright, it will probably give you a virus. I don't have confirmation on that. When it says this type of file can harm your computer, keep it unless it's not a jar file or it has any other name other than 421.7.10. Yeah. Alright, so now we're going to look for a mod. I have journey map pulled up here. Let's say I wanted to install this. So we're going to go to download file here and I I would recommending I would recommend using Minecraft Curse Forge. And, and also the Minecraft Forge and Minecraft Curse Forge links will be down below. Same thing, except for as long as it's your mod's name and .jar, you are safe. Alright, now we're going to close out of Chrome. So, um, let's go into Finder. We're going to go into Downloads. Alright, as you can see here, we have the Forge 1.7.10 installer. And somewhere in here is Journey Map. Here we go, Journey Map. Okay, so what you're going to want to do first is install Forge, so just double click it. If, it, if this message pops up, do not worry, just click OK, right click on it, go to Open With, and then click on Jar Launcher Default, right? Then it will say this, say Open, let's give it a second to run, okay, Java is opening up, this is what you want, this is what you want. If anything else opens up into Java, unless you're on um, Windows or Linux, then um, it's not good. Unless it's on Windows or Linux, then you should be fine. Okay, if you're installing a server for Minecraft Forge, click on Install Server. If you're removing it, click Extract, and then you will go to find the thing, the folder location. And then, but I want to install 1.7.10, not on a server. I don't want to remove it since I don't even have it installed yet. So we're going to click install the client. We're going to click OK. It will show you the progress. It might take a few libraries. Oh, it looks like it didn't. OK. So now we go to OK. Now we make sure we are in our finder window here. Click on go. Press alt on your keyboard. Unless you're using an actual Mac keyboard. I'm, for some reason, using a Windows computer right now. Um, Alt or Options. Click on Library once it appears. It should appear between Home and Computer. Just click there. And then we're going to go to Application Support. We're going to locate our Minecraft folder, which is right here. Click into it. Go to Mods. As you can see at the moment, I already have mods. We are going to get rid of these. And if, you, if, if for some reason you can't get here, you can just click on Devices, click in your computer here, click on Macintosh HD, Users, um, your user, and then go to, let's see, where is it? Um, oh, I thought you could, I guess you can't do it this way, okay. Oh, you can't. Alright, well, if it doesn't work, um, just leave a comment down below. I, I, I thought this way worked. I swear I saw. Wait, maybe go back. Never mind, I was just being stupid. Okay, so you click on your device, obviously, go to Macintosh HD library. Application support, locate our Minecraft folder once again, which is somewhere. I don't see it in here. Okay. Right, whatever, let's just go the other way. Um, so 
which should bring us to mods right here. And then we're probably just going to open up a new finder window. So right click on finder, go to new finder window. And then if you go to all my files, you'll find journey map. If you go to downloads, you'll get journey map. As long as you highlight it and take it into the mods folder, you should be fine. And if you want, uh, I don't think you have to do this. Just bring, just bring Forge in there as well. It might, it might help. I don't know. All right. So now we're, we can safely exit the mods folder. Boot up Minecraft. We're going to look for the 1.7.10. Um, okay, let's see. Normally, it's somewhere around the bottom. It might be in the middle, though. If you don't find it, that is a okay. You can just go to launch options, add new. All right, latest release, scroll to the bottom. If you go here and then go to the right here, it should speed up. There we go. All right, look for the 1.7.10 version. This is what we installed. I actually have a bunch here, don't mind those. You should only have one 1.7.10 version. All right, we're gonna click on that. You don't have to touch any of these. You can name it if you want, let's say. All right, save. News, and then we're going to look for what we named it. And if it's still, uh, and if you didn't name it, it's okay. Let's look for a 1.7.10 configuration, which is at the bottom. Also, listen to that message. All right, so now the game is booting up, which might take a little bit considering I don't know mods. They just, and if it doesn't boot up, maybe your game crashes or something. Um, just leave a comment down below with the info, and I will get right on it. So now we're going to wait for it to boot up. Alright, so first stage, constructing mods. Okay. So... If it doesn't show um, like the mod you wanted to install, that is completely normal. If something like this happens, I honestly don't know what to do. I could only say reinstall the mod, honestly. Um, okay. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna really do this. Let's just, oh god, that settings. Is this quick game? Okay, good. Now if something like that happens, you should probably take a look in the folder. It might have been because I added the Forge folder. Mods are always unpredictable and they want you to die. Okay, so this is, make sure it's named Mods. If it's not, I, I don't know. Alright, I'm just gonna remove Forge 1.7.10. And if it still doesn't work, just try to find an equivalent of the mod, I guess. Either that or your computer's too crappy to even support it. I, like, this thing is so old. <laughs> Anyways. It's ran mods before though, so it, it, it happens sometimes. Sometimes the textures will want you to die. Anyway. Alright, so as you can see, it is booting up. Constructing mods, and if you don't see the mod that you put in your folder here, like I should be seeing journey map somewhere in, in here as it's constructing or doing its thing. If it doesn't, like right there, journey map, it, you saw, I know, I know you saw that, don't lie to me. Journey map, there it goes. Alright, so that is a good sign, that means it will work. Never, ever, ever put it in Forge. Goodbye, I hate you. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so, go, if you go here, you can go to check your mods. As you can see, we have journey map put in here. All right, now we go to single player. Let's just create a new world, creative. Might take a little bit to create the new world since you have a lot mod, but after that, it's totally worth it. Mods are a ton of fun, and depending on what you install, if it, even if it doesn't add any items, um, if it doesn't add any items, it will not expand your game. Yeah, so I guess I'm just gonna have to find an equivalent. Do I have any texture packs on? Nope. 
I don't think I even can fly. Oof, that is glitchy. Alright, so if you didn't see in chat, it says journey map, press J, and as you can see right there, we have our journey map. And it also located a ton of squids. Alright, so let's press J, or keybind you have for it. And as you can see, this is journey map. Alright. If you wanted to install Optifine into um, one of these, here's how you would do it, alright? Also, I'm getting rid of that file. Alright, application support, Minecraft, mods, goodbye. Just in case. Alright, now we're going to open up Chrome. We're going to go to a site called Optifine.net, alright? So now we're going to click on downloads right here. We're going to scroll and look for 1.7.10 Optifine. Here we go, 1.7.10. Alright, normally the latest version is pretty good. Download is for just zip, I guess. I, I, I haven't installed this for a while. Alright, same thing on this website. Don't click any of it except for the skip button. You can click deny. I would actually do that. Just don't don't click any of this. You're gonna get an ad, and then you're probably gonna blame me. Just don't do that. Listen to me. All right now, you will see the download. We're gonna click on that. This rice crispy treat is gonna tell us to click keep here. We are going to sign out because I hate Roblox. Go to downloads. Here we are. Optifine. We're gonna put that on my desktop for now. All right. We're gonna go to our application support. If you haven't done this for a while. Or if you still don't have this in your brain, you really should get it in your brain box because this is th th this this is. I've I've played this game for about two years now, right? And even if you're doing it on your desktop, it's just go, options, library, application support, Minecraft mods. I it's really easy and quick. All right, now we're gonna wait for it to open up the launcher. We're gonna click play. While we're waiting, I'm going to give you an interesting fact. Did you know that there's a little creeper face right here? Yeah, see it? Try it in your own launcher, unless you're on, like, Pocket Edition or something. Why would you even... I don't know. I don't know. Alright. Constructed mods. If it doesn't show Optifine in here, that's fine. It might not show it. But if you get in a world and it doesn't work, and for those of you who don't know what Optifine is, it normally doubles your FPS, and there's also a zoom feature, which is nice, alright? Alright, completing. Now we're in. Yeah, right there, Optifine. So if you go into mods, sure, you might not see it, or you might see it, it just says three mods. If, as long as it says Optifine there, or if you go into mods and find Optifine, you are good, alright? Single player, that new world that we just created, it should not have any bad textures in this. Yeah. Oh god. What 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 is it with mods and wanting to kill me? Alright, yeah, see? Now it is way faster. Oh control. Alright, for some of you, control might be zoom. If you want to change it, just press escape. Options. Controls. Ah, you see? Now it's taking it up. So now we're going to scroll down, all right, zoom, L control, left click on it, and then change it to whatever you want. Um, in like 1.13 and C, for me, I, it's just Z because it's easier to remember. And now we can speed up and now you can zoom. What is this? <laughs> oh, this is sand. Look at how old this is. Oh. Like if I should do a, um... This was not generated right. This was not generated right at all. Like and subscribe if I should do a series <laughs> on this world, I guess. Oh. Alright. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please, 
put hit like and if you really did enjoy this subscribe for more content almost like uh, I, I I I don't know what my upload schedule even is um and goodbye all, all links in the description subscribe to Realm Dude and PewDiePie don't let T-Series win